Now we're following breaking news involving a man who spent nearly two decades behind bars for a crime he did not commit. Today, the state awarded him $6 million for that life-changing mistake. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Kanopka talked to him, and she's joining us live now from New Haven with the story. Jill? Well, Denise, it truly is amazing how positive and gracious 45-year-old Kenneth Ireland is after everything he's been through. Also extremely thankful for the apology included in the claims commissioner's five-page decision announcing this $6 million award. Now, he says he never got his hopes up, but he is very, very pleased with this outcome. I'd like to thank the state of Connecticut. 21 years is a long time, and I did every day of it. Uh, I can't go back. I can't change it. I don't want to relive it. So I'm all about moving on to the future. And I've been that way since I've been released. I just look forward to enjoying a full life. Um, I want to be a professional adventurer. <laughs> that was a job. 21 years behind bars for rape and murder he had nothing to do with. For 21 years, he endured gang violence, was labeled a high security risk based on the violent nature of the crime he did not commit. Today, the state claims commissioner offered his sincerest apologies in a five page decision, announcing the state will give Ireland $6 million for the two decades he spent behind bars wrongfully incarcerated. Ireland says his life won't change much. He'll still go to work, but will now be able to travel. Uh, I'd like to go see Egypt, however, the political climate is not correct right now. Um, Australia is an amazing place I'd like to go see. Um, New Zealand, uh, different parts of Europe I'd like to go across. So I'm just grateful that Connecticut has a statute to address this issue. And Ireland is also the first person in the state of Connecticut compensated after this wrongful incarceration claim. Let's read part of what Governor Malloy issued today, saying Ireland is a man of extraordinary character who endured the unimaginable pain of two decades of wrongful incarceration and yet is not without bitterness, but is incredibly thoughtful, insightful, and committed to public safety and service. And we should also mention that Ireland was released from prison back in 2009. Back in the fall, he was appointed to the Board of Pardons and Parole and is absolutely loving his job. For now, reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven tonight, Jill Kanaka, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.